In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to move your Lightroom catalog from one computer to another. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to move your Lightroom catalog from one computer to another computer while still retaining all your edits and all your metadata. Now, there's a few reasons why you may want to do that. And the most obvious one, of course, is that you've upgraded your computer and you wanna move everything from your old computer to your new computer. Another reason could be a process-driven reason. So in my case, I shoot to a really old Mac that I use just for shooting tethered. And then when I finish the shoot, I export the library from that machine and I import it into my newer machine which is much more powerful for doing my edits. Now this process is going to move the Lightroom catalog as well as all the images and the edits and all the metadata associated with those images. Now there are a couple of ways of doing this and for the most part Lightroom does a really good job at automating this so that it moves everything across but if you're someone that has a special structure for storing your images, your raw files, and you want to retain that formatting and that process, then you're gonna to wanna to look at the second part of the video which talks about how to do it manually. Now, in order for you to follow along, you are going to need some sort of external device to copy your files onto. It doesn't really matter what it is, it could just be a thumb drive, as long as you've got enough space to be able to store the data. So let's jump into the computer and have a look at the process. Okay, so here we are inside of Lightroom. And this is a catalog that I created just for this demo. It's only got four images in here just to uh, speed things up so that it runs a little bit quicker. Now, exporting the catalog itself is not really that big of a deal. In fact, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is once you open up Lightroom is you navigate to the file menu and you go all the way down to what says export as catalog. Um, this is the same process for, for uh, PC or Mac, by the way. Now, when you do select that option, you are going to be presented uh, with this dialog box. And at the bottom of the dialog box, you are going to see some checkboxes. Um, export negative files, build, include smart previews, and include available previews. You want to make sure that all of those things are ticked. And by doing so, you are going to recreate the environment just as you have on your original machine. So make sure that you get that you tick those, those uh, boxes to make sure that it brings up everything. Now it's just a matter of finding uh, a place that you're going to store this. So like I said in the um, at the beginning of the video, you're just going to need some sort of external drive. Um, I've got a thumb drive that I've uh, inst inserted into this machine and I'm just going to uh, name it, uh, I'm just going to say test export, okay? And then I will click the export uh, catalog and as you can see, it will uh, it will run. You can see it on the top left hand corner, exporting the catalog. And once that is done, um, we will see what it has created or the file structure that it it has created in the disk itself. So, if I bring up the uh, the folder that it exported everything into you will see uh, a few extra files in here, okay? So this is the actual catalog itself. Um, as you can see, I'll make this a little bit bigger. Oops, I should make this a little bit bigger. And as you can see, the actual catalog itself is only 1.7 megabytes in size. And the reason for that is that the catalog itself does not hold any images. All it does is it holds the settings for each one of those images. The images are stored away somewhere else and then Lightroom, when you change any setting such as um, uh, exposure, clarity, sharpness, any setting within Lightroom, it just applies it over the top of the image. It never actually modifies the image. It's just a layer that is affected above the image uh, to give it whatever effect you want to give it. Now, you'll also notice that there is a folder in here called uh, Tether Test. This actually comes from the folder that, uh, that I had inserted into um, into the or the the, loca the original location of the files when I did my shoot. Uh, so what it does is it also copies the folder that contains the images. So that's these four images over here. So we need all of these things in order to be able to import the catalog correctly and so that it behaves correctly at the um, at the destination machine. So now that we've done this, let's jump on to the other machine and I'll show you both the automatic way to import them in and also the manual way. Okay, so here we are inside of uh, the second computer. So this is the one we are going to import the catalog into. And what I've done is connected the drive that I used on the older computer to copy 
uh, to transport the, the export of the catalog into. And that is this folder that you can see here. So you can see the exactly the same files. And what I'm going to do now is copy this to uh, to the new computer locally so that it runs uh, it runs a lot quicker and everything is organized. So I'm just going to select all those files and I'm going to copy them and paste them into its, uh, its new home, which is um, a drive that I've got dedicated just uh, for photography. So now it, it's uh, living on the new machine. I'm just going to get rid of this. And we're going to work off this folder here. Now, as you can see, we've got the catalog uh, file, which is, um, it's it's got this file extension of L-R-C-A-T, Lightroom Catalog. And um, I'm going to double click on this file. That's going to kick off Lightroom. Um, and uh, now, you may or may not get this, uh, this um, window here. Uh, in fact, you probably won't get it, but if you do get it, this is just an upgrade message. It just means that I was using uh, the machine that I exported from was using an older version of Lightroom and this is a newer version. Do I want to upgrade the catalog? And the answer is yes. So click on upgrade. That's going to perform the upgrade of the catalog and then it should just open up the catalog uh, just like it did on your older machine. And here we go. So as you can see, all the images are now there. And, um, and if, I, uh, if I go into the develop module on any one of these, I'm able to change the settings just as I did uh, on my older machine. So this is the preferred way of doing it. And, um, but now I'm going to show you a different way um, because if you notice in the file structure is that the, the folder containing the images are actually contained in the same folder that the catalog is, um, is housed in. And this may or may not work for you, but in my case, for example, I've got one data or one folder that holds all of my photographs and I organize them the way that I like to organize them. So um, this wouldn't work because I don't want the photos to live in here. And if I move the photos from here to somewhere else, then Lightroom breaks. So that's what we're going to look at now. We're going to do this whole process again, but we're going to do it manually um, and see how we fix that. Okay, so what we just had a look at is the stock standard way that Lightroom imports a catalog um, when you're using that process. And as you can see, it creates this file structure that you can see here where you've got the three files here and then you've got your folder containing the raw files. And for most people, this would probably work. Uh, for myself, this doesn't work for my process. I keep uh, all of my images on OneDrive, and I have a very specific uh, folder structure that I like to f that I like to follow. It makes things easier for me to find things, uh, as well as uh, back up that drive where all my images live. And so I do things a little bit different. Um, and if you have a similar type of setup where you, all your images are stored in one particular location. Uh, well, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Lightroom uh, and import that catalog and uh, and take care of that so that we can link the images. So we'll start off exactly as we did before. Uh, we are going to um, uh, we're going to copy uh, everything from the US the USB drive over to here, which I've actually already done. So let me get rid of uh, let me get rid of this uh, th this window here. And I, in fact, I might actually even just unmount or dismount that drive um, and this is the copy that I've made to um, to my local machine so this is the uh, we're starting again so what I'm going to do now is I am going to uh, double click on the catalog again and again it's going to tell me to upgrade it because uh, it's the same catalog so we are going to upgrade this one again and that will just take a few seconds uh, to upgrade the catalog Okay, and uh, that's finished doing that now. So as you can see, all the images in there, just like we did, just like l the last time. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to close uh, Lightroom. Okay, and uh, we're going to go back to this file structure. And as you can see, it's created the new, uh, the new version 10 Lightroom catalog, which is this one here. That's the one we're going to use from now on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this folder, which holds all of the raw files, and I'm going to move this across. Uh, over to uh, the, this other drive. Now, this other drive is also on my local machine, 
um, but it's a separate drive altogether. Now, here's the thing. When I launch Lightroom now, it um, it's going to launch. It's going to look normal. Okay, it's all been, already been upgraded, so it's not going to ask me to uh, upgrade that again. Uh, but you're going to notice one thing. Although the images uh, look, uh, look okay, okay, uh, when we open up the folders on the left-hand side over here, you're going to notice a little, uh, a little question mark on tethered test. And the reason for that is that it can no longer find the files. And this can lead to all sorts of problems when you're editing and when you are um, when you're exporting and so forth. And so because of this, we need to relink the files again. And it's very easy to do. All you got to do is right mouse click on here. Any any of these folders that have the question mark are uh, broken links. So you are going to right mouse click on there. You're going to go to find missing folders. Okay. And then when the dialog box opens, you are going to uh, direct Lightroom to where uh, to the new location of your photos folder. In my case, it's in this Ninja Drive, in there, and in there. And then I'm going to I can see the files in there, so I'm going to click Choose. And as you can see now, when I open the uh, the drop down here, you can see that the tethered tool, the tethered test um, folder, is no longer has a question mark, which means all of these images are now linked. Um, and this is something that happens quite regularly. You see, um, uh, whenever you do movement of files, if you're trying to clean up a drive or, or you delete files, sometimes you're going to see little question marks. And that's what that means. It basically, uh, a, a, uh, um, the, the, li the link has been broken. And all you need to do is right mouse click, go to the, I mean, it's not showing any here at the moment because it's already linked. But you go to find missing folders and you just point it back to the drive where your folder where your images are at so hopefully that makes sense and now we've migrated this um this system or this lightroom catalog over to the new computer and everything works and will work as expected so that's it hopefully you were able to follow along uh if you got any questions or you got stuck somewhere please let me know in the comment section below and i'll be happy to help you so if you're watching this video you're clearly interested in photography so i wanted to let you know about ministryofphoto.com it's a site that I created a little while ago, and it's full of articles, uh, there's blogs, there's videos, and there's free downloads all related to photography. So make sure that you go check it out. It's completely free. And if you did like this video or you found it helpful, if I could just ask you for one second of your time to click the like button, it really makes a big difference to me as this is the only indicator really to know that I'm making the kind of content that you're interested in. So that's everything for me today. In next week's video, I'm going to show you how to move just specific images from one catalog to another. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure that you click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when that video goes up. So that's it from me. I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.